are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, we have some very, very sad news from the world of basketball, namely the NBA. Trailblazers legend, Celtics legend, Bill Walton has now passed away at age 71. Now, Bill Walton uh, won a title with the Trailblazers back in the 70s. Also, he won uh, titles with the um, Celtics in uh, 86. Uh, Bill Walton, I mostly remember him actually from um, from TV because his NBA career, man, is more of a um, what could have been because Bill Walton had a lot of talent. He was great with the Blazers, but injuries were the story of his career. Now, Bill Walton has passed away with cancer. I didn't even know he was actually sick. I really did not know that um, Bill Walton was sick. But he was definitely uh, fun to watch on NBA games. The way he um, talked and everything, he was funny. So it's very, very sad news that Bill Walton has now passed away. So here we go, guys, right here on ESPN. NBA champion, Hall of Famer Bill Walton dies at 71. Basketball legend Bill Walton, who led UCLA Bruins to two national titles before winning two championships during his NBA career, has died at the age of 71 after a prolonged battle with cancer. Yeah, he was great at UCLA. I mean, there's there was actually talk, you know, that he was the net sum of Abdul Jabbar um, at UCLA. I mean, he was dominant at UCLA. Anyway, it goes on here. It says the NBA issued a statement saying Walton died Monday while surrounded by his family, which is today. Quote, Bill Walton was truly one of a kind. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said in a statement. As a Hall of Fame player, he redefined the center position. His unique all around skills made him a dominant force at UCLA and led to an NBA regular season and finals MVP. Two NBA championships and a spot on the NBA's 50th and 75th anniversary teams. Uh, Bill then translated his infectious enthusiasm and love for the game to broadcasting, where he delivered insightful and colorful commentary, which entertained generations of basketball fans. Walton originally joined ESPN and ABC in 2002 as a lead analyst for NBA games before shifting to college basketball in 2012. He also worked for CBS and NBC and was named one of the top 50 sports broadcasters of all time by the American Sports Sportscasters on Association in 2009. The first overall pick in the 1974 draft by the Portland Trailblazers, the six foot 11 Walden Walton played 10 seasons in the NBA, winning championships with the Blazers in 77 and the Boston Celtics in 1986. He averaged a double-double over his career, totaling 6,215 points, which came to uh, 13.3 points per game and 4,923 rebounds, 10.5 per game, and 1,034 blocks at 2.2 per game and 1,590 assists. Now, I believe, man, if um, those injuries did not derail his career, his numbers would be much better. But even I understand that Bill Walton, Walton, when he was actually healthy, he was dominant. A two-time All-Star, he led the NBA in rebounding and blocks in 1977 and was the Leeds Sixth Man of the Year in 1986. Uh, quote, what I, what I will remember most about him was his zest for life, Silver said in a statement. He was a regular presence at league events, always upbeat, smiling ear to ear and looking to share his wisdom and warmth. 
I treasured our close friendship, envied his boundless energy, and admired the time he took with every person he encountered. As a cherished member of the NBA family for 50 years, Bill will be deeply missed by all those who came to know and love him. So that is um, a statement there from the NBA. Uh, definitely a sad um, day for the NBA. Uh, Bill Walton, fantastic on TV, man. He actually covered, um, I believe it was the 1994-95 NBA Finals when um, the Houston Rockets um, actually played uh, the Knicks in 94. And also um, the Magic with uh, Shaquille O'Neal in uh, 1995. So Bill Walton, man, fantastic on TV. I just wish, man, he actually had um, a longer basketball playing career. But, man, injuries got to him, you know, uh, tall guy, leg injuries. Um, same thing happens to uh, Yao Ming, who actually played um, with the Rockets as, as well. But uh, I'll always remember him for being uh, great on TV. Bill Walton was really, really good on TV. I had no idea, man, that he was sick. Um do you guys actually know what type of cancer he had? I mean, I, I just got up and shot this as soon as I um uh, saw the news. I was going into this cold, man. Um, it's been a while since I, since I actually saw uh, Bill Walton actually call the NBA. I believe they said uh, 2012 was the last time he actually did NBA games. And he started actually doing um college basketball. I'm pretty sure that the uh, that the Trailblazers have actually made a statement as well as the um the Boston Celtics um as well. Man. Very sad day, man. Very very sad day for the NBA. We just lost um uh Bill Russell a few years ago, man. And uh Bill Bill Walton, man, only 71. Man, that's still to me in my opinion, man, that's still young right there. That's still young. And Bill Walton, man, he he never looked old. He never did. I mean, he was tall, definitely, definitely tall, but he really did not look that old, man. But um, rest in peace to Bill Walton. Uh, the NBA is definitely going to miss him. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.